Hello everyone, welcome again and today we're gonna take a look on how to determine cash flows relating to working capital in a condition of inflation. What is working capital? Actually working capital acts as the lifeblood of our business but you can also speak of working capital is something that gets the business going. Just let diesel uh, get vehicles run wild in the streets. Now let's get just straight uh, to a point now. To start a business, you will need funds for fixed assets as well as working capital. Note what we have to note. Working capital will should always be maintained. We assume that unless otherwise stated. So if uh, we require working capital of a thousand dollars at first, we'll assume that we'll always need that at the start of each year of our operation. As a second note, only changes in cash flows are taken into account when dealing with the working capital. Example, suppose if your investment project requires working capital of $1,000 in current terms and there is an 8% inflation on working capital. We are told to work out the cash flows for the project duration. Solution. So, we'll have our years, year 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Working capital before inflation. So we are told our working capital is a thousand dollars. A thousand, a thousand. So we assume that at the beginning of year one or the end of year zero, this number here, this you can call the end of year zero or the beginning of year one. This one you can call the end of year one or the beginning of year two. And this one the end of year two or the beginning of year three, etc. etc. So when we start, we'll need a thousand dollars and we assume that it's maintained. So if no inflation we assume that we'll also need it at the start of year at the end of year one we we'll also need it at the end of year two at the end of year three but at the end of year four since the project will be done we won't need it anymore so we will recoup our money that we, we invested in working capital now let's see the inflation we have to multiply the working capital before inflation by the inflation factor inflation factor is given by this formula one plus i power brackets power n so, for year 0, it will be 1.08 power 0, year 1 power 1, year 2 power 2, year 3 power 3. Year 4, no need because we won't need any more working capital. Now, working capital required. So, the product of working capital before inflation to the, infl to the inflation factor will give the working capital actually required. So, start of year 1 will require this figure. At the start of year 2 or the end of year 1 will require this figure this time, this a thousand and eighty and at the end of, at the start of year three we we'll require this figure at the start of year four or the end of year three we we'll require this figure at the end of year four we won't need any more working capital because our project will be finished maybe in case you are told that the project will be ongoing that means we won't recoup our working capital so we'll proceed using it no problem at all so you have to read the question right if, if it's about the machine uh, that is, was involved in a project and you are told that the machine will be replaced, that means the, the use of the project will still be needed, then you won't have to recoup your working capital, so you continue inflating it. Right? Now let's see working capital available. So at the start of the project, you go, you, you have a zero working capital. This is the zero you have. You have a zero working capital. Then, if you have the zero work, if you have the zero working capital here, zero working capital, but you require a thousand working capital, then you will have to insert an amount of a thousand dollars to reach this figure. So. By year one, by the end of year one, you will have this uh, 1,000 here, but you'll be requiring this figure. So to get this figure, you'll have to add up 80, so the difference between this one and this one. So you will have this figure here, and then at the end of year two, you will have this figure, and you'll need this one. So you take the difference again, you get 86. At the end of year three, you will have this figure here. But you will be requiring this, so you will have to inject the difference, which is 94. At the end of year 4, you require nothing, but you already have invested this one, so you recoup it. So this, so this, so this is a cash 
inflow while all these were cash outflow so this is how working capital is worked out our uh, investment appraisal thank you uh, and you are always welcome to the channel